Well, come along, guys. Well, this is it. This is it, the test ride. My first ride. I've just literally got on this, and I can't believe how much more civilised it feels. First impressions. You know, it felt like a real competition bike before. It was, you know, on and off the, off, on and off the gas. It was really gnarly back and forth. I think that's because it didn't have a cush drive. These wheels have got a cush drive, which really, really smooths it out. The gearing is seems perfect so far. It doesn't stress the motor at all. It feels much more like the, the 701. It's sort of the first impressions. It's much more civilized for the road. You haven't got the vibrations where you've got the knobbly tires going along. Oh, I'm liking it so far. I've got to bed all my brakes in. My rear brake is also rubbish. Well, I've had the back wheel out. Yeah, I might have to re-bleed that if it doesn't come back. I think the front brake could do with a little re-bleed re -bleed once it's bedded in a bit, because I did have trouble bleeding that. Got to bed the tyres in, got to bed the brakes in, so I've, I've got to take it easy. I've got to take it easy tonight. SM is back on the menu for Chopsy. I am loving it already, loving it. Not even opened it up yet or chucked, it, uh, chucked a corner at it. And already it's much more so I was a, I was a little bit concerned where it was so I almost thought well if I'd done the right thing getting a 500 exc and converting it as opposed to not just buying another 701 because it felt very uncompromised now this is much more like it this is much more like it this feels like you could actually do a few miles on this now not many <laughs> but a few Give it a leg. I'll, do, I'll pull over in a minute. I just want to check everything's tight. Nothing's coming loose. We're not leaking fluid anywhere, well, apart from the stuff in my underpants. Hey, hey, was that a stone? I hope. All the front wheel's falling out. Oh yeah, front brake is good. Second. Third now. Six gear still eats gears. Oh, that front brake is really, really nice now. Just a little bit of tire, just very progressive, and I can just tell it's going to be so much power there. Second, third. Third gear, fourth. Fourth gear, still clutch up lovely in fourth gear, I reckon. No problem whatsoever. Oh shit, I wanted to go up there. Full bag! Oh, it's, it's going to absolutely handle. I need to get those tyres bedded in ASAP. My dream supermoto. I have my dream supermoto. Just pull her over. Oh yeah. First impressions is bloody gorgeous. Everything intact. They start to bite in. Nothing falling off yet. <laughs> That's always a bonus. <laughs> it's so good. How good does it look? It looks absolutely wonderful. 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 The horn's pathetic. <laughs> Oh, pathetic hard! Now this gearing seems pretty darn spot on. We must be doing what 16 out I'd say. And it feels like it's absolutely cruising. It feels very similar gear to the 701 again. Maybe it is exactly the same. This is a 14 front 44 rear. Gotta get used to the wheel. Oh that front brake is so good. I've got to get used to the wheelies all over again with this gearing now. A little bit more snap, a bit more snap on the throttle. I think you can get a different throttle pickup, you know, a, a, a different a, a, a insert for the throttle grip to make it more snappy. Now it's got this gearing, I think that would be quite a good idea. So I may look into that. And with an exhaust, I think it'll give a little bit more bottom end punch as well, because. It's a little bit flat initially, I would say. There is lots of restrictions in these engines, standard, like things in the airbox, things in the exhaust. I've taken all those out, but 
I just like a little bit more snap. How does it feel compared to like the 701? I need to ride a 701 again, but I can tell it's it's much lighter feeling than a 701. Of course, because it is much lighter than the 701. The 701 is 145 kilos. This is 107, say 109, say 110 absolute tops with these wheels on. But I'd, I'd say probably more like 108, there's not a lot in it. I don't think you've added that much by the, putting these wheels on. It feels much more, it feels very similar, sort of the gearing feels the same. That I think the 701 being a, obviously a, a 690cc engine has a bit more torque. Not as much at the top that this has got. This is this has got a better top end. And from out there, this starts to to pull much more than the the 701. Oh, let those tyres in first before we get too fast. The real transformation, though. The real transformation. I think I was definitely wise to pay a bit extra and get the cush drive I think that makes it much 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 smoother the whole overall thing much smoother I haven't ridden it for so long I've got to be used, used to have to ride it now am I a hang off guy or am I a leg out bend at the hips guy I don't know yet, I don't know, I need to try both and I used to bend at the hips and lay the bike down while I stay upright, that, like the motocross style. That's how I used to ride this. But maybe I'm more of a hang off, knee out type of guy on this now with the wheel, these wheels. I don't know, I need to play around and see what the fastest that. What feels the most comfortable. I do quite like the idea of foot out. I think you can lay the bike down much more like that it's light and it's they're so thin that's the thing these are so thin between your legs you don't so much as sit on them as you insert them <laughs> between your cheeks so that makes you able to lay it over you know you like pivoting on a very small it's like sitting on a razor blade you could tip it left and right very easily whereas if you're on like the 701 with a wide seat you, you can't tip it and, and pivot it like that it's more of a hang off type of fare I think these work best. Oh, I've got to be careful of those tyres. I don't want to be sliding off of this already because I'm pushing it too hard on you rubber. <laughs> what I'd probably like to do is get the suspension revalved more to a road setup. It feels okay, but it's probably. I'm trying not to go too mad on the front brake. It's probably obviously too soft really for the road. But too soft really. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hold on shops, you're getting a bit mad here. Let's go down here. Let's slow it all down a little bit. So at least do a couple of heat cycles with those tyres. Oh, it just makes you ride like a bit of a loon. A bit of a loony. But the thing I love about these bikes, so much fun on these sorts of roads. There's no police on these sorts of roads. These sorts of roads are all sort of 60 mile an hour speed limit. So if you were to see a copper down here, you know, you're, you're only going to be going a little bit over the speed limit, really, <laughs> if at all. So yeah, you don't, the whole thing about the police is out of your mind. You don't have to worry about the police when you go out riding, which is, a, which is very, very liberating compared to going out on a sports bike. And then of course, you do have to watch out for horses, tractors, you know, these tight bends, oncoming vehicles. <laughs> there are other dangers involved, but it just brings the whole speed down to something more realistic. And it is so much fun 
Love it, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. Just keep going better than the tyres in a bit. Let's try and get a bit comfortable with the handling of it. I'm in a silly position, I'm laying back. That's not, you've got to sit forward. That's the sort of behaviour I love with these. Brap. It needs a bit more brap. For a standard exhaust, it's not too shabby, but it definitely needs some more brap. And the standard exhaust, although loud for a normal production bike, doesn't have enough brap. Oh, I can barely control myself. 